What's up, guys? And after the Bulls-Pacers game that went into triple overtime, our game finally gets to start. We were scheduled to start an hour after that game begun, but they still obviously kept going. But we are down 17-13 to right now after joining back onto NBA TV Network. And Fiala, I am just going crazy. I mean, what else can I say? Whenever I play the Nets, I usually do my thing, but... Like right there, I'm running the break and I get the pass and I dunk it home. I got 12 or 22 points and I'm starting off hot against this uh, Nets team. But And then look at that, Alex Caruso to myself. What a pass and that is how you get the crowd going here in New York in this crosstown rivalry. After last year going 2-2 two and two both uh, in the series, we're hoping to maybe go 3-1 in this series or like some something like that. But we will see how this... Th these games go we might even face each other in the playoffs who knows but i'm just running right by karooch karooch and i'm getting the easy land and i have 18 points in the first half right now i i don't know what's going on i'm unconscious right now uh darius garland gets confidence and he pulls up I, I mean i love the confidence i love him just letting it fly and having confidence in his shot but he misses that one and whenever it's closer games we cannot be taking like shots like that I myself I can't take shots like that. Those aren't the highest percentage shots. But Lloyd Markin and locking down Todd right there. And Todd is trying to lock down Lori here, but can you really stop Lloyd Markin? The man's the man's crazy. The man does what he wants when he wants. But here comes Delo and Delo passes it up to Todd. And I mean it's cause Lawyer wasn't there. Lori was trying to get back after he got his dunk in. But we are currently up 32-25, and after losing to the Suns last game, we we started to go on a little bit of a run. We won our next eight of our next ten, and then we obviously are playing against the Nets right now, and hopefully we can keep that streak alive. But Todd is just running the floor right now, and that's what he's best at. He's faster than most fours, and he's most more athletic than most fours. And that's, that's what he prides himself on. He just runs the floor, beats him down the floor, and gets the easy jams. But he's not going to step out to guard Darius. But Darius can't hit, hit the wide open three. That is very unlike him. He usually hits those. And we expect him to ma make those 75% of the time if he's that open. But, I mean, what else can you do? Lori gave him space, tried to slow him down, and still could not stop him. And then here comes Jared Allen on the break. And DeAnthony Melton contesting him there, and that saves two points, and that's going to take us into halftime. We're up one here, and stats all the way around are pretty even so far. I have 22 at half. This could be an unbelievable game for myself in the scoring department. But D'Lo fading away on Darius. I mean, that's a mismatch all the way around. I'm not sure why I'm not guarding him. I tried to tell our coach to put me on D'Lo, but he's he wants me to do my thing on offense and get us buckets. But I mean, if I I can't be the only one getting buckets and they're getting a basket almost every time down the floor because they have three unbelievable scoring machines and if one of them's not going the other two will. But we get a steal right there and we need to capitalize on this and I see Kevin wide open on the midi. Bang, that's Kevin's shot. Kevin runs the br break well, and he usually hits those open shots. And I get open again. Lori, what a screen. Lori's been setting screens for me beautifully today, and Mitchell. All the big men have been setting great screens. For some reason, Lori is guarding uh, D'Lo just at the beginning. I He's getting a little too confident after locking down Todd a little bit. But we are running down, and I stepped back on Romeo Langford. He did not know where he was going. And I'm getting the crowd hype with that three ball to fall. And Mitchell Robinson gets the board, passes it over to me. And, I mean, Lori's just running the break. And oh, he is just a little too slow and cannot get the bucket. But he draws the foul, and he will hit these two free throws because he is, I believe, our best free throw shooter on the year. Second one is up, and it is good. He, I mean, Lori's been consistent as of late. He's, we've been playing more as a team than last year. We're not trying to just get Kimba the ball and let him do his thing. We're passing the ball around, and everyone's getting their fair share of shots, or, and 
I'm passing up, passing up open shots to hit other people who are more open than me. As so far this season, I'm averaging I'm twenty or I'm averaging twenty eight points, six rebounds, and seven assists so far. So I want the MVP track right now. And Kevin Knox, look at that. That's just unselfish play right there. That's easy. That's a ba- basketball play. Hits me wide open for the three, and I got thirty five. I mean, I usually can't. I usually don't do this and not pass or have not as many assists. But I mean, I'm in my, getting in my bag right now. And my teammates are, uh, know that I'm in the zone right now, and I'm just going up on everybody. They Spencer Dinwiddie is lucky he did not come over here and get anywhere closer to my poster. And Darius Garland going for his own dunk, and he drives right by him. I love it when he gets those open lanes because most people don't expect him to fly like he can. And D'Lo with his... You know, what he usually does, middies, hits those pretty regularly. And I pass it up to Vernon Carey get dunked on. Was that, Ka- that that was Kawhi Leonard. He got dunked on by Vernon Carey, the rookie. And Vernon Carey has been a great accusation, accusation. sorry. And, I mean, he's great in our second unit because we do not have the greatest scores in our second unit. So he really picks up the load. But the worst part about our second unit is as we just do not have any shooters. And Mitchell Robinson with the putback slam all over Xavier Todd. What is Laurie doing? We all... And he blocks him! Sorry about the... What... I don't know what I'm saying right now. And I dunked on Kawhi! What is going on here in New York? Oh my goodness! After I dunk on Kawhi... Before I dunk on Kawhi, I don't know why Laurie jumped for that three Todd can't shoot. And then Mitchell Robinson just sends his stuff back. But back to the game here, and Romeo Langford misses a wide open three. That is very unlike him. And I'm just driving by everyone, taking the whole team, and I have 47 points on the night. That is a season high in the whole NBA. Make that 49 points, and that is all I'm going to score for the night. We win 85 to 69, and I had 49, 17 of 33. I mean, I took a lot of shots. Darius, 3 of 14. He's got to get a little more consistent. I mean, he's only in his second year, so I think time will tell what he can do. But I will see you guys next time, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.